Hello, my name is Kenneth and I am a digital marketer. I run social ads for businesses. I build websites for businesses. I do mostly digital marketing for businesses. So like I promised earlier that I'm going to do a review, you know, in quotes. If I quote one of you guys on WhatsApp, uh, I'm going to give a tip of the iceberg. Okay. So I just edited an ad which I did for one of my clients. My client is a study abroad agency, Learning Questa. So I did a traffic campaign ad. What that means is they want to get more people to visit a particular page, a landing page. I'm going to go to that landing page now very quickly. The page is an inquiry form. This is where they capture data on people who fill out the form. So, although I created this page, but you might not have a page like this. You might not have a website. You just have your Facebook. Um, you just have your Facebook um, page and Instagram account. So, anybody who engages on that with that ad on Facebook or Instagram is going to come down here and they're going to fill this form and once they fill the form they're going to click on submit and this form is going to be delivered to the company and then they can make contact and you know they have a lead from this okay so that was by the way now going back to our ad your own campaign objective might not be traffic that's why in the training i'm going to show you which objective is best for you depending on how you want to entertain your clients do you want phone calls do you want messages on facebook on or on instagram how do you want to get in touch with your clients do you want to get their data like name and phone numbers and email so you call them later so that is where you choose a campaign objective okay this might sound as if I'm right deep into the training here, yeah, but there are still a lot to cover. So, this particular campaign objective was traffic, as you can see here. Then, where do I want to drive this traffic to? I chose website. So, if you want to drive the traffic to WhatsApp, that's where you choose it here. Messenger or an app. Okay. So, this... Um, ad already is active i'm just editing to show you what i did here and guess what the lifetime budget was 2650 and my client is getting massive results okay so you can see a a chart here that gives you you know the performance it keeps going up then this is start date and the end date and all of that also another good feature of this um, platform is that you can choose the times in the day you want your ads to be shown to people like i selected all of this place in green in blue is the time that the ad is going to be delivered to people so between um between 2 a.m to 4 a.m the ad is going to pause it's not going to run because most people will be sleeping by then and we don't want our ads to waste okay so this is the best part in fact if you can master this part we are going to dedicate a whole day for this part that should be the second day about the audience choosing and creating audience so this is where you now pick a particular interest and then i would introduce you to this tool this tool called the audience insight that gives you data points on everyone on facebook so you can choose you can pick a category or an interest and it will give you more details on the statistics of these people you can see their location maybe let's say you are a business in lagos you can see areas in lagos here where people are who are interested in products like this for this particular one i chose human hair extension and hair products so I can see the locations where people are interested in this. Let's say I do nationwide delivery. I'll focus more on targeting these particular cities. Okay. So this is all you are going to learn in this training. I can also see 
the kind of pages they like and i can also go on to this page you see people like this they like royal hair they like fab women they like the ladies room i can use all of this information as data points okay i'm going to show you how to create all of this so back to our ad you can see here i'm currently editing the ad sets what we call the ad sets in the pdf manual which you've downloaded there are three ad sets which i wrote down there as the i said there are three um campaign levels which i wrote down there which is the campaign itself the ad set and the ad i'm going to be explaining all of that individually that should be on the first day so those are the vocabularies you need to familiarize yourself with first before we dive deep into creating compelling ads okay so this is the ad set right now the ad set is basically where you choose your targeting choose the budget and the rest of that and the ad is where you have the creative itself then the campaign houses everything you can be very flexible with this you can create a split testing create two ad sets and see how each of them are performing then you can pause the one that is not performing well and improve the one that is performing better okay so um, I'll now click on to show you the ad itself so this is the ad you can choose your ad placement where you want your ads to display is it Facebook newsfeed is it Facebook stories Instagram stories you can choose all of these platforms here using one ad so you get a preview to your left you can see here it shows sponsor just the way to display on Facebook and your ad text your ad image or video and the rest of this other information here so you can preview your ad placement see how it would already look before the ad even gets out so this is how it, it will look like on Facebook stories okay they can now swipe up to learn more I'll show you how to create all of this and then uh, one other thing I wanted to show you guys yes the ad instant experience part I think this is one of my best um, feature since the updates in Facebook updated their ad um, delivery you can add instant experience so even if you don't have a website you can already give your customers or your audience your potential customers who view your ad online a website like experience you can tell stories I'm going to edit this particular experience to show you what I did here so you can have your video as what they would see once they engage on your ad once they click on it so this video was given to me by my client because they're trying to promote this university like I said earlier they are a study abroad agency so they're trying to promote this university and once they click on the ad this is what they would see still on Facebook or on Instagram as you can see the tabs here you can see this is showing me that I'm on Facebook if I click here to preview how it will look like on Instagram is the same thing so this particular area here this section is depicting a mobile phone you can see it's vertical I can scroll just the way I'm scrolling on a mobile device okay so it's a template actually that is being given to you you can add your content let's say you don't have a video you can change this to an image although it's very very advisable when you're creating ads you need to make a video of your product whether you're selling wristwatches or clothing or you, you bake cakes you sell bags whatever it is you sell it's better you do a video it doesn't have to be professional don't mind this is for a school it doesn't have to be professional just use your mobile phone make a video say something you can add background music use apps like InShot to you know add some swags to the video then put it up here and just tell a story okay then you have um, text that you can always change all of this text write something cool you know 
all of this are ad copy i don't want to mess with all of these things because this ad is live as we speak it's currently um serving out on facebook instagram facebook stories the audience network and all other platforms that has something to do with facebook okay so you can make changes to everything you see here like this particular ones here there are slides see this is the first one i just slide it to the second one you can see here then the third slide has something different my internet connection is a bit slow so images are loading slowly but you get the picture okay so if you scroll down to the end after you must have told your story you know contact us this is a call to action so this is the last bus stop so once they click on this contact us still on their mobile phone then this is where maybe your phone number would now be dialed or they would now send you a message via Facebook Messenger or via WhatsApp or better still get to the contacts page or your inquiry page which is something like this okay if you don't have this it's fine you can always use WhatsApp WhatsApp is even direct okay you just get message directly and you start chatting with your customers and arranging for delivery of your product if it's a service I would um, encourage you to have something like an inquiry form whatsapp is still good you can start a conversation with your customer about your services on whatsapp okay so that's that for this i'm going to go ahead and exit i hope i didn't make any changes i'm just going to close this uh i didn't make any change okay let me just done okay so there are so many customizations you need to do which we are going to take time to do them one after the other okay that's why i spread it out to three days so you don't get choked up by information on one day another important very very important although not necessary unless you have a website is the facebook pixel i'll show you how to create a facebook pixel install it on your website if you have a website if your organization have a website so what this facebook pixel does is normally you go to um, e-commerce sites like jumia or gg and you saw a product you just clicked on that product and you looked at it you like that product because you clicked on it right so by clicking on it you're reading through the description and let's say for instance you got distracted you had a phone call or something distracted you and you left that particular site then after a few minutes or hours or even days you'd go on to facebook or instagram and you start seeing ads that pop up showing you that product you saw on Jumia. that's a way to remind you that hey you saw this product and you didn't add to cart you didn't purchase here is it are you still interested you can target your ads to people like that people who see your product let's say they come to your website they click your product they add your products to cart if you have an e-commerce site they add your products to cart and they never checked out and they left the page that's what we call abandoned cart so once they go on to their social media pages if you have facebook pixel installed and set up on your site that ad you're going to create an ad for that product that's going to go out to people like that so they will now start seeing ads on that product or other products on your site which they had viewed or added to cart but never checked out so anyone who's really serious that wanted that product is going to see that product again and oh i forgot this let me just buy this right now that i have the time so that's just basically it that's how 
you create ads like a pro in 2019 even if it's 2020 2021 it's still gonna be relevant and I'm going to be updating you guys you know when the um, algorithm change because Facebook they do update their algorithm I'll also encourage you to you know always follow up with the Facebook policy go to the um, Facebook privacy policy part and read some information there okay so that's just basically it for this training I hope to see you guys on the training we are going to have much fun learning and you are going to really learn a lot you are going to change the way you create ads see you at the training Bye.